feels definitely like a movie. Um, I've heard of situations like this before, uh, maybe a few earlier this year, but you know, it's more surreal when it happens right in your neighborhood, right across the street from you. A 13 hour police standoff that ended with an officer killing the suspect with a single bullet. Dell Dickerson watched much of it unfold beginning Sunday night. For hours we sat out here and I think it was around like maybe seven. A uh, gentleman opened the door and he was yelling, he'll never go back to prison. And uh, that's when the police told me and my friend to go inside and we've just been stuck in the house until this morning. This was in the 19,000 block of Schaefer on Detroit's west side. The suspect, recently released from prison, was armed, holding his girlfriend hostage after severely beating and sexually assaulting her, according to police. There were also other people being held hostage inside the house. At some point during the ordeal, there are two separate struggles. A gun goes off both times. A bullet hits the suspect in the leg. Another one grazes him. Eventually, the hostages are let go. Police negotiating with the suspect for hours. Up until the guy yelling out the door, we didn't even know which house it was. You know, it was crazy. I thought it was maybe on the corner. And then when the guy yelled, I'm right across the street. I'm like, wow, it's getting real. Police continue to negotiate with the suspect overnight and into Monday morning. At one point, throwing gas into the house, trying to end the situation in a nonviolent matter. Police Chief James White says that tactic didn't work. He exits the side of the home with a gun in hand, points the gun at one of our officers, fearing for his safety. Officer fired one shot, uh, and he is deceased on the scene. An investigation into the entire matter is ongoing. On Detroit's west side, Camila Mary, Fox 2 News.